Hi guys, welcome to um, a quick refresher video for lesson 6.5 on trig word problems. So remember from yesterday that the key new idea here was the concept of bearing, and a bearing is just an angle measured clockwise from north. clockwise from north. So if you're on a compass here, here's north, right? Let's say you're going in this direction, this angle would be your bearing. So I'm starting at north and going clockwise. Okay, um, so let's do a quick practice problem and then you guys can do your try and check. So, Sanaija lives due south from school and Deja lives due east of Sanaija. Deja drives 4.5 miles at a 115 degree bearing to get home. How far does Sanaija live from school? So, first thing we want to do here is um, get our map set up. So, we need to find school, Deja, and Sanaija. Since um, we start at school, I'm going to put fair right there. Okay, and then let's see. Sanaija lives due south. So I'm at fair, I go due south to get Sanaija. And Deja lives east of Sanaija. So here could be Deja. Okay, and then we've got a little triangle set up with school, Deja, and Sanaija. And that's helpful because then we can use trig, right? Okay, so now let's go through and find our information so we can label our diagram. So, let's see. Um, Deja drives 4.7 miles. So, uh, to get home from school. So, school to Deja is 4.7 miles. So, school to Deja is right there. That's 4.7. And her bearing is 115 degrees. So remember that's clockwise from north. So I'm starting north going clockwise to Deja. So here is her bearing. So that's 115 degrees. How far does Sanaija live from school? So that's what we're looking for. That's a side, so we're going to give that the variable x. And on our diagram, let's put that straight up and down, school to Sinaija, there's x. Okay, so we're almost um, ready to go here. The only thing is that our bearing in this case is outside the triangle, and we need an angle inside the triangle. So if we remember from yesterday, we're going to use linear pairs on this angle and this angle. So we know those add to 180, which means that this inside angle would be 65. So that adds to 180 with 115. Okay, so now we're just in lesson 6.2, solving for a missing side. So which side do we have? For our 65, we have the hypotenuse. Which side do we want? That's x, so that would be the adjacent side of 65. So which trig ratio should we use? Which one uses hypotenuse and adjacent? Hopefully we get cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so here is our equation. Um, cosine of our angle 65 equals the adjacent side, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 4.7. All right, now let's turn um, cosine into a number. So uh, using our calculator, we punch in 65 and then hit the cosine button. And I get 0.42. So 0.42 equals x over 47, sorry, 4.7. Now I want to get x by itself, so I need to get rid of 4.7. So I'm going to multiply by 4.7 on both sides. On 
the right, those cancel out, leaving only x. And then on the left, I just have to multiply. So 4.7 times 0 0.42, 1.974 miles equals x. And you know, I left it three because it the decimal ended after three. We could round that to just 1.97, also fine. Okay, so hopefully that refreshes your memory of what you learned yesterday. Go ahead and um, give the try and check problems a go.